For me, it's a pleasure to be here in Brazil uh, in my new capacity as Director General of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. Uh, Brazil uh, has been a very active country during the negotiation phase of the Chemical Weapons Convention and uh, since the beginning, since the OPCW organization was established, it's also played a crucial role uh, in its achievements. Uh, we really appreciate that and I'm very pleased to have some exchanges here uh, with the Ministers of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Defense and Science and Technology, uh, as well as uh, other uh, organs uh, and representatives who are involved in the implementation of the Convention uh, in Brazil. Brazil is also a leading country in terms of uh, chemical industrial, a chemical industry within the organization. It has more than uh, 100 uh, chemical industrial plants which are subject to our routine verification uh, mechanisms. Uh, but uh, coming back to the uh, chemical disarmament issues, as I said earlier, uh, Brazil's uh, contributions have been very valuable and the organization uh, itself has made quite uh, significant progress in terms of eliminating chemical weapons stockpiles which were declared uh, to the organization over the past 17 years. Now the level of destruction has reached uh, 82% and the remaining 18% will be destroyed in the, in the coming years. Uh, the uh, elimination of chemical weapon program in Syria has been quite challenging and uh, since last year in October the organization was fully engaged in the implementation of decisions made by the Executive Council of the OPCW as well as the Security Council resolution. And uh, this progress has been quite considerable but there is still 8% of chemical weapons in, uh, based in, uh, located in Syria which need to be taken uh, out of the country and uh, there are also some other issues which need to be settled uh, but I expect that the uh, OPCW will be able to complete this uh, mission in the coming weeks uh, or a few months. Um, and as to the uh, future uh, of the organization, I should say that I'm very confident that the OPCW will continue to play a useful role uh, for our state parties, uh, especially in the prevention of re-emergence of chem chemical weapons, uh, as well as in the uh, assistance and protection, that means uh, the capacity of uh, re emergency response in case of uh, there are some uh, emergency situations, and also in the field of promotion of peaceful uses of chemistry. Uh, this is program is especially important for uh, developing countries or countries in uh, transition economically. Uh, this is a major incentive for them to be engaged uh, in several uh, capacity building activities. Uh, finally, I should uh, also uh, underline the importance of scientific and technological developments. We have a scientific advisory board composed of 25 eminent experts coming from 25 member states, including uh, Brazil. And uh, uh, this board is in fact following the technological and scientific developments and provi provides me with some advices uh, as to the implementation of convention, uh, what uh, developments could have an impact uh, on the uh, convention's implementation. Uh, and also it's important, I believe, to raise awareness about the security risks associated uh, with handling of uh, dual-use chemical materials and that's why we are trying to reach out in fact to scientific communities and academia in our uh, state parties and uh, we really appreciate also their uh, cooperation. Thank you very much.